and see that, well, this looks like one of my identities, correct? And guys, there's only three identities that we're going to be picking for for the sum and difference. We have sine, the cosine, or the tangent. Now, which one does this look like? The cosine, right? So a couple things when we're looking at this, we know that here's my angle u, here's v, here's angle u, here's v. Now, here kind of goes to that sine thing. If I'm adding inside the, the, if I'm adding inside the formula, that means really I'm subtracting my angles, right? Would you guys agree? This is the subtraction formula. So now I just replace cosine of pi over 4 minus pi over 3. Now, that might be an answer choice, but more likely than not, they would say, hmm, I want you to actually subtract these. Well, that's OK, because that may, just means we need to get common denominators. 3 over 3, 4 over 4. So therefore, the answer choice that you'd be looking for, it'd be negative pi over 12. Yeah, you meant to say 4 pi over 12. Sorry, 4 pi over 12, thank you. And that'd be your answer choice, Jack. Wait, why you just add the You're not adding, you're subtracting. Yeah, what happened to the sign? This is the formula. This is the formula for cosine of u minus v. Number two. Yeah. Look at cosine, cosine, sine, sine. That's the cosine form. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Okay. Anybody have any questions? Excuse me, 